Okay, let's take a look at a few versions of the word England in Descript. We're dealing with some pretty simple combinations again, nothing too complex. So we'll start with the most basic combination as always. E, N, G, L, A, N, D. England. Now, this looks okay, but I mean for a, as, a, as a vertical v word. Now let's try to make this look more like a character or a beautiful symbol or glyph or something. So, let's start with, um, what can we change here? Well, first the ENG, we can move the NG up around the sides of the EN like so. The L, we could try adding it directly onto the G. For example, this is GL, so is this. As you can see, you have your L right in there. So we can move that up and eliminate a stroke. The L just has to come out directly into an A, and we've got our A. And then we use the AN combination, like so, to connect to the D. And that should, all those double letter combinations, should be able to bring it together into a single glyph. E N G L A N D. Yeah, I can see it coming together now. Let's flip that curl the other way. Um, so, we can go. Start. No, let's go the other, the other way. No, we have to go that way. See, it's really a, a game. You have to figure out. It's like a puzzle. You once you find the combination, you've got it for good. Yeah, that's pretty square, and it's starting to look pretty nice. We can keep going with it, but I'm going to stop where I am. I've got a decent version. Uh, play with it yourself. Um, as discussed before, just find the Descript manual at descript.ca, and it's got all the double letter combinations, 26 times 26, all of them. So uh, you can uh, start looking through it. Of course, there's bigger combinations. There's a few triples covered in the manual, but the rest really, um, they're intuitive. You will see how to put them together if you learn the double combinations.